everybody, Chaz Large here again with another video for you. Uh, I fix it on Windows this time. A uh, little bit of a story. Had a friend who had for many years their their uh, computer uh, able to just start it up and log straight in. They'd actually set no password on the computer, and they were happy as Larry. They didn't bother about uh, having a password obviously it's a security risk but for them it seemed to be okay then one day uh, my friend calls me up and says oh, it's asking for a pin or a password and I haven't got one I don't know what it is and so consequently we thought well what's happened you know what have you done what have you changed all the usual bits and pieces we went through but um, we couldn't work out what the password was or what the pin number was on this computer. It just seemed to have randomly had this password and pin. Well, I looked into it since later on and found out that the reason most likely is a recent Windows update, which basically turns off um, no password facility. You used to once be up, once upon a time, Windows 7 onwards, you could uh, go into a little utility and uh, you can you used to be able to set no password or this user can log in without a password was uh, the actual application um, and it was really a basically a, a standard Windows setting that setting has now been removed so uh, any computers that you've got if you've got a computer running that when you start it up logs straight in and you do all the latest updates and this was to 21h1 Windows 10 you will find that that facility will stop working and you will have to put in a password. So further research uh, went into looking at how we could work around this a lot better than having to do a reset and so on. And I found a bit of software which is freely available on the web and it's called LazySoft Password Reset. And I'll show you a link to it now. And uh, basically what this does is it um, sort of mimics that uh, no password functionality but what you have to do is you have to download the software install it onto a, a memory stick boot the computer in that and it will give you that that facility to bypass it so having followed the link to the lazy soft software and you've downloaded it or you've purchased the full version whatever you plan to do install it onto another computer then choose a device that you want to create in this case i've chosen a usb drive but you can use a cd click start and it will then ask you do you want to format the disk uh, obviously you do want to otherwise it won't get anywhere so it formats the disk uh, usually is fat 30 32 uh, or maybe NTFS or whatever the CD system is that you've chosen to uh, build this on it then goes away and starts to collect some information from your computer uh, using bits and pieces of it uh, to create a Windows P version and it's this operating system that's effectively being built onto the drive so that you can boot into the drive and boot that computer that you've lost the password on from that so this can take anywhere between five and 10 minutes. I've speeded this up on this particular USB drive, this cruiser disc. Uh, it took about five minutes altogether and uh, it basically just sits there whirling away. And uh, when it's finished, it just basically stops. And you'll see that that little message will disappear and you can then click finish and cancel or whatever you like close that software eject the uh, usb drive from your computer safely and insert it into the computer you want to uh, reset the password on it's as simple as that so uh, on the computer on the bench here we've got uh, a laptop which i've set up to uh, try and demonstrate this problem and I'll try and get it so there's minimal amount of um, things and I've set it up with a, a basic user now this password reset facility will only reset a local user password account it will not reset the password for a Windows user uh, a Microsoft account so it will only reset that so if we go to this obviously I need to enter a um, pin and it says pins incorrect it will give you various options to keep trying and so on so basically what we have to do is create a, a memory stick and this is what I've done here is I've created a memory stick with this file with this lazy soft software 
and we pop that into the computer and we then do a start restart restart anyway and on this uh, uh, Lenovo ThinkPad basically what you do is when you get the logo come up press the enter key which will start and then you can press F12 to choose a temporary startup disk and it will give you that cruiser blade drive and you run it as though you're running a live CD so you can actually boot this on you know if you want to you can burn the software to a CD boot it from a CD I always do it from a memory stick because it's quicker So it's basically running its own version of Windows PE. So now we can come up here and select we Reset Windows um, Password. And it's free. So it's free to non for non-commercial use only. For commercial use you have to purchase the professional edition, which is not that expensive, but I don't intend to purchase it because I don't intend to use it on a commercial basis. So we click Yes. So we, it tells us what version of Windows is installed, Windows 10.64, Volume 1, and we can reset the local password. That's what we want to do. So we select Next, and it will then give us a choice of uh, local users that we can reset. So uh, we can choose uh, User 1, which is a local user, and we can reset that. We don't need to worry anything about putting into the boxes. You don't need to do that. Just click the big blue button, reset, unlock the password reset. And you can go back as well and reset the local administrator. Okay. Uh, the local administrator account is uh, there by default. It's always going to be there. So if you haven't got a local user account, like, you, like we had there, user one, um, you can reset the administrator and then you can log in as an administrator on the computer. So once we've done that, we've reset it. We just click cancel, start, shut down the computer, click OK. Computer will now shut down, remove the memory stick, power it on. boot as normal and I will automatically log in as user one without a password And there we go. We are now logged into this computer as though we'd put a password in. Okay, so it's logged us in automatically and it's done that because it's changed the password to a blank. Uh, so if you did uh, log out and try and log back in with a password, it won't accept it. You have to enter no password or leave the password blank and hit enter. And uh, you then can change your password by doing the usual uh, password reset through the account settings scroll down to use uh, accounts go to sign in options go to password it will tell you you don't have a password you now need to add a password and your new password type it in I'll just put cat Click finish. So it's now changed my password. So now if I restart the computer, it should now, when it gets to the login, prompt me for a password once again.
there we are so we're back to our normal sort of login screen click on the screen and it's asking for my password and we're back in again so we're back to normal so if you've got a local user account you can um, bypass the password to reset it to zero or a null whatever you want to call it nothing um, and then it will allow you to log in and then you can uh, then reset it uh, through the user account settings.